Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to measure to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. So whether you are using a ruler or a tape measure, we're going to look at reading it correctly and understanding all of the markings. So we're going to start by zooming in on one inch and taking a look at what all of the tick marks mean. And keep in mind, we're going to be working with fractions here. This inch is divided into 16 equal parts. So sixteenths. We are measuring to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. So from zero to the first tick mark, that's one sixteenth of an inch. From zero to the second tick mark, that's two sixteenths of an inch. Then we have three sixteenths of an inch, four sixteenths, five sixteenths, six sixteenths, and we will continue to work our way up to one inch. Now once we have all of these sixteenths filled in here, we're going to take this a step further with some of the fractions. We need to simplify. Now you'll notice that the tick marks are different lengths, and there's a reason for that. This will be very helpful once we know what they mean. And you'll notice that we end with 16 over 16, 16 16 16ths, which is one whole, one whole inch. Remember, whenever you have the same number on top and bottom, so the same numerator and denominator, that fraction equals one. Now, all of these fractions are correct. The inch has been divided into sixteenths. But we need to, like I mentioned earlier, simplify. We're going to start with the longest tick mark in between zero and one inch. The whole inch tick marks will be the longest, but this is the longest tick mark in between the whole inch tick marks. So this tick mark right here. Now this is eight sixteenths, which simplifies to one half. So this is the half inch mark. Next, we will go to the next longest tick marks in between the whole inches. So here and here. These tick marks, along with the half inch mark, split the inch into fourths, so four equal parts. So we have one fourth, two fourths, which is one half, three fourths, and then four fourths, which is one whole. So from zero to each of those marks, one fourth of an inch, two fourths of an inch, which is one half, and three fourths of an inch. Let's start by labeling one fourth, which four sixteenths simplifies to one fourth. So this is the one fourth of an inch tick mark, also called a quarter of an inch. Then we have two fourths, which is just one half, and then we go to three fourths. Twelve sixteenths, this simplifies to three fourths. So that's the three fourths of an inch tick mark, also called three quarters of an inch. Keep in mind, when you hear quarters, that refers to fourths. Let's clear some of that writing and move on. The next longest tick marks are the eighths. So right here, right here, right here, and right here. These marks, along with the fourths and half, split the inch into eight equal parts. So going from zero to these marks, we have one-eighth of an inch, two-eighths, which simplifies to one-fourth, three-eighths, four-eighths, which simplifies to one-half, five-eighths, six eighths, which simplifies to three fourths, seven eighths, and then eight eighths, which is one whole. Let's start by labeling one eighth, which two sixteenths simplifies to one eighth. Then we have two eighths, which is one fourth. Then we have three eighths, six sixteenths simplifies to three eighths. Then we have four eighths, which is one half. Then we have five eighths, 10 sixteenths simplifies to five eighths. Then we have six eighths, which simplifies to three fourths. 
Then we have 7 eighths, which 14 sixteenths simplifies to 7 eighths. And then again, 8 eighths is one whole. Now let's clear some of that writing and move on to the next tick marks. Lastly, we have the sixteenths. These are the sixteenths that are already in simplest form, and these are the shortest tick marks. We'll start with one sixteenth, which is right here. So one sixteenth. Then we have two sixteenths, which simplify to one eighth. Then we have three sixteenths. Four sixteenths simplify to one fourth. Then we have five sixteenths. Next is six sixteenths, which simplified to three eighths. Then we have seven sixteenths, then eight sixteenths, which simplified to one half. Next is nine sixteenths. Then we have ten sixteenths, which simplified to five eighths. Then we have eleven sixteenths. Next is 12 sixteenths, which simplified to 3 fourths. Next is 13 sixteenths. Then we have 14 sixteenths, which simplified to 7 eighths. Then we have 15 sixteenths. And lastly is 16 sixteenths, which is one whole. And that's it. We have everything labeled. Notice all of our fractions have an odd numerator, so top number, and an even denominator, so bottom number. So just something to keep in mind. Now let's clear all of this and go through a recap. Let's go through and label everything from here. We will start with the longest tick mark in between and work our way to the shortest tick marks. We will start with the half inch mark. Where do you think that is? That's right here in the middle. So this right here is the half inch mark. Now let's go to the fourths. So we need one fourth, two fourths, which is one half, so it's already labeled, and three fourths. Any idea where those are? One fourth and three fourths are our next longest tick marks. So right here is one fourth, and right here is three fourths. Now we need to move on to the eighths. So we're going to be looking at our next longest tick marks. Where do you think one eighth is? And we will go from there. So this is one eighth right here. Then we have two eighths, which is one fourth. Then we have three eighths. Then we have four eighths, which is one half. Then we have five eighths. Then we have six eighths, which is three fourths, and then seven eighths. Lastly, we have the sixteenths, so the shortest of the tick marks. Can you find one sixteenth? And we will go from there. This is one sixteenth right here. Then we have two sixteenths, which is one eighth, then three sixteenths, then four sixteenths, which is one fourth, then five sixteenths, then six sixteenths, which is three eighths, then seven sixteenths, then eight sixteenths, which is one half, then we have nine sixteenths, next is ten sixteenths, which is five eighths, then we have eleven sixteenths, then we have twelve sixteenths, which is three fourths, then thirteen sixteenths, then we have 14 sixteenths, which is 7 eighths, and then 15 sixteenths. And that's it. We have everything labeled. Now that we know what the tick marks mean, let's go through some examples of measuring. Here are numbers 1 and 2 of our examples. We will go through 4 in total. Let's jump into number one, where we need to measure the green bar. And that's what we will do for each of these examples. Now, I do want to mention, depending on if you are using a ruler or tape measure, that can make a difference on where you start your measurement. A ruler may have a small gap between the end of the ruler and the zero mark. So if you have a gap, make sure you start from the zero mark, like numbers one and two. 
So for number one, we do have a ruler here with a small gap between the end and the zero mark. So the left side of the bar is lined up with the zero mark. And then the right end of the bar lines up with this tick mark right here. So we have one full inch and a fraction of an inch. So we need to determine what that fraction is. Now there are different ways to think through this. The more practice you have and the better you know your tick marks, the better and quicker you will be at this. Now, if you know what that tick mark is just by looking at it, great. But if you don't, we need to have a strategy to figure it out. Now, can we count each individual 16th here and then simplify if necessary? Sure. But another strategy is to use a tick mark you know and go from there. For example, this is pretty close to the half inch mark. And a half inch is eight sixteenths. So we can count up from that. So we have eight sixteenths, nine sixteenths, and ten sixteenths. Now ten sixteenths simplifies to five eighths. And we can see that this is an eighth tick mark. So our measurement here is one and five eighths inches. Let's move on to number two. The left end of the bar is lined up with the zero mark and then the right end goes to this tick mark right here. So our bar goes past one inch again. We are pretty close to one inch and on a 16th tick mark. So let's just count from one inch. This is one sixteenth, two sixteenths, which is one eighth, and three sixteenths. So this bar measures one and three sixteenths inches. Let's move on to numbers three and four. Taking a look at numbers three and four, we are zoomed in on the part of the ruler or tape measure that we will need. So that's why these look a little different. For number three, we are in between eight and nine inches. So we have eight whole inches and then we need a fraction. Looks like we are on a fourth mark and this is going to be three fourths or three quarters. So we have eight and three fourths inches or eight and three quarters inches. Now keep in mind, if you couldn't tell that that was the three fourths mark, count from the half tick mark if you'd like. So eight sixteenths, nine, 10, 11, 12 sixteenths, which simplifies to three fourths. Or if you need to count each individual tick mark from eight inches until you have this down better, that's fine as well. Do what works best for you as you continue to work on this. Lastly, for number four, we are in between nine inches and 10 inches. Very close to 10 inches, but not quite. One thing that we can do here is count backwards from the whole inch since we are so close. Remember, as far as the whole inches, we can think of this as 16 sixteenths. So if we count back from that, we have 15 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, whatever the case may be. Now we just need to move back one. So this is going to be 15 sixteenths. So we have nine and 15 sixteenths inches. Now, if you don't like counting backwards, no problem. Start at the half mark or wherever you feel comfortable and count from there. As I said before, use what works best for you. So there you have it. There's how to read a ruler or tape measure and measure to the nearest 16th of an inch. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.